Hi, Kathy here from Kathy's Cute Creations. Today I'm going to be working on the last flock of the hen party. That's what it's going to look like. Then I'm going to show you on the design wall because I went ahead and I put them all up there. So, let's, so I have it up on my design wall here. That's the first two rows. Now I changed the next two rows because that third row right there is in the pictures on the fourth. But I've swapped them up. And I'm working on that right hand side where it's the um, rectangle. Now one of the questions was, how do you know when you lay it down whether it's the wrong side or the right side or whether you're doing it correct? Let me show you what I do. If the person who did the directions did it correctly, then it's not going to be a guess. They're going to actually tell you whether your pattern is right side up or wrong side and whether you have to flip it or not. Now, the spelling on the eggs, this is the way it's supposed to look when it's finished. And keeping in mind, you want the right side of your fabric up. If I were to take these e, this E and put it on this fabric, this one wouldn't make a difference. But the easy way to do it is just think of it this way. In order for all of this to have your fabric faced up, your fabric would be facing downward on it like this. In other words, the E would be tucked up underneath here, the G and the S's. So when you flip it over, the E has to be going that direction. So when you cut it out, it'll be flipped the other way because this is the side of the fabric you want. I hope that makes sense for you. Now, since this is double-sided, all you have to do is peel this off, and I'm going to show you here. Hold on one second. Let so me do you it. just peel off this side here because we want it on that side. I'm going to lay it down. Let's put it over here in the corner. I don't have to waste any fabric. Cut it out. Let me get the scissors that I use for this. So we're going to cut this out here. And there's your E for eggs. And then when you get ready to put it down your fabric, oops, you peel this side off and you adhere it to the background. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect all these. There's a whole bunch of the pieces here. And then when I get done, I'll take it to the ironing board and I'll show you how we're going to put it together. All right, here's my setup. I've got all my pieces laying here. I've got my pattern which is right here. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to start building her. And I think I'm going to start with the bottom box here first. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to pull each one of my pieces of paper off because they're all still attached. So this will be the most time consuming is pulling the paper off. You want to make sure that the sticky stays on. I'm taking the top and the bottom, and the bottom doesn't want to come off, so let's push a little bit there and see if it comes off now. There we go. Now it will. Okay, so she has, I might have to turn this 
long ways in order to get it to fit. Let's get a side piece here. And I've kept them all labeled. So as you can see. So now let's see if I can get this to come off. And these sides actually go underneath. What I'm doing is placing it here and then I'll lift this up. And put underneath like that and then you can tell the difference between the sides the smaller one is the top side and the bigger one is the bottom and it came in a little bit on theirs I'll just bring it a little bit on mine also you can make that box I guess any size you want I'll put my fabric over the top of it before I actually uh, um, iron it. I think I got my a little crooked. There we go. Because once you iron this to itself, the fabric to the fabric, then it's stuck for good. So you don't want to be doing that. But it won't stick to this mat here. Now we're supposed to be putting the box which is this here, down at the bottom. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Nope, my sticky didn't stay. I didn't press it hard enough. I did not iron this now. All I did was press it with my hands. Should be enough to do it. There we go. I'm going to go down here. I got this right here. There we go. And then we're supposed to be putting the eggs and all of these different little legs and everything. I call them legs or straw. They look like little legs. From a thigh and knee looks like without a foot. And you can just about put these any way you want. So I'm just going to stick them on here. And I made them, even though the picture shows a couple different colors, I made them all the same color because of what I'm using. the type of fabric. And these are so small they're hard to get a grip on. And that one didn't stay either. Let's try it again. There we go. I think it let's see. It goes like that. Whoops, ah, oh, darn it. Okay, so it did not come off at all. So now I've got to put this back on that in order to get that sticky to come off on it. I don't really want to recut any of this stuff. These little bitty things are hard enough as they are. I don't know why that doesn't want to come off. Let's try it again. There we go. I 
Let's put this one over here. on this just to make sure it stays on there yeah that one stayed on there I think the eggs, let me just put them over here, are supposed to go somehow like this and cover that stuff. All right, let's put these eggs on here. Okay. Let's put a little bit like that. I think that white one goes on the top. Let's make it go on the top. All right, let's pull this down a little bit. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Let's put some side pieces on. And now I'm trying to find where my top went. Hmm. All right, let me go look at the table. Well, I couldn't find it over at the table, so I had to go and make another one. I don't know if I skipped it or what. I thought I made it. Where's my picture go? I lost my picture. This box slants to the right in the picture. That's what I'm going to try to do with it. And let's see which is the longer, yes. So let's put this down a little bit. And then that can slant like that. Let's move this down a little bit more. And hopefully my hen fits on there and she's not too big. Otherwise, I gotta move everything down. I'm gonna put everything on the paper here. Yep, she is too tall. Let me get my fabric here and test it out. This is only a little bit bigger, this mat. She will fit though. I'll show you here. Let me turn it sideways for a second so I can take a look at it. And then take my fabric and put it over the top. So see, there's going to be plenty of room, but her head's not on there yet, nor the comb. So I think I need to go and make these at least make this box a little bit smaller. I'm just going to bring my top part down some more. And it goes a little bit like that. Let's get this whole thing up here and just go down with it. I can get off my fingers, that is. Keeping in mind, I've got to get the box that says eggs on it in there. So that's not going to work because that'll be too small. <laughs> This goes in here. Take that up a little bit. Like that. Whoops. My fabric turned under on itself. There we go. And I believe.
pull that out a little bit because it looks like my letters are too big. So, let's lift it a little higher. Let's see here if I can get that there we go. My pieces keep wanting to move on me. And this mat feels like it's a little tacky in case y'all don't have one of these. It feels like it's sticky, but it's I mean, it's not sticky, but it feels like it is. Yeah, I need to be running the iron on those. Let's just... a little bit better. I feel like my sign's not big enough. Although it was on the edge of the sign, so that's probably why it just seems like it to me. There we go. Now I'll put our hand on there. There we go. Slow that down a little bit. Hopefully all my pieces don't start falling off on me. I don't want to have to make this over. Let's see how the tail is versa. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Her body's supposed to go and make that. Those t the tail doesn't look like it want wants to cooperate here with me. It doesn't quite look like that in the picture, but you know what? I'm going with it. All right, let's get her head up there. Now I went in that head and made her head the same as her body. I'm not sure why. Oh, well, heavens to Betsy here. I got one too many tails. That's the problem. And I don't know how I managed to do that. So we're taking off one of the big ones and swapping it out. Let's take this one here off. And put that up there. And this little one right here. All right, let's do that. Now let's see. Sorry about all that bumping. I keep forgetting if I hit that iron, that 
camera ends up moving. Well, I'm not going to get that cock comb on there, that's for sure. Well, we'll just put everything but that. Let's see, we want a cheek right here. And a cheek right there. Beak, because it's going to have to go underneath there. Supposed to go up here. Maybe I'm backwards with it. I'm not quite sure which way it's supposed to go. Well, we're just gonna go that way for starters. What the heck? And see, the comb's gonna go up here. Well, I guess I can get part of the comb on there. And get it started anyway. And let's get the eyes. I'm gonna we'll turn it sideways. Okay, now let me see if I can turn all this and get it all on this sideways so we can take a look at it. There we go. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to put a sheet since I had whoops, so much trouble with some of that backing. I don't want that to be sticking on my iron. Yeah, that looks pretty good. seconds here for that to cool. Let's turn it this way so you all can see it. There's what it looks like. over here. Oh, it's coming up. Hmm, let's see here. I think what we're going to end up doing. First time I've had a big old long piece. Let's see if it'll all come off. That's going to be the thing. Alright, so it's all off. Let's see if I can straighten her out here. All right, let's see. I have to come down with her head because we only need a quarter inch up at the top. Maybe 
I should have done this in sections. Forgot that wasn't straight, that was at an angle. Okay. I think that box down here kind of matched too much, though, while I'm looking at it down here at the bottom. Let me pull this up a little bit for you. This in here was, to me, it's too much of the same color. But I'm not going to redo it. I think I can live with it. Let's get this crease out of there. There we go. I said I covered that heron. This one I didn't over here, but the rest of them I got covered up. Otherwise, they're going to be going up and down on here. So let me get my sheet. As I press this. And in the next video, I am going to start doing the embroidery. I'll show you how to set it up on your machine. And what I'll probably do is um, I'm going to do a practice. So I'll have to make another block. But the reason I'm going to do a practice is because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you. For all of you that have an older machine and you don't really have any of these electronic ones, well, I have one down um, in the living room, and it's an old singer. It's one of those slantomatics. And I'm going to show you how to do the embroidery. And I'll set that up, and then I'll give you ideas, and you can pretty well follow along. As long as you have a zigzag sewing machine, you should be able to do this. It's not going to take any special needles or anything. Here she is on the design wall with all the rest of them. And like I said, the last row and the row above it, which is actually three and four, they're swapped. And there's the whole thing. My room's not really big enough for me to back all the way up for you to see the whole thing, I don't believe. Let me see if I can back up a little bit more. Okay, that's about as far back as I can get. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. And I'm just about wrapping up all this stuff over here on the right-hand side. All these different ones here. Not the pumpkin, but this one here is the cotton cuts. This with the purple, these fatigues. This is the murder mystery. So I'm coming to an end with those, and I'll have them all laid up on the design wall. So till next time, bye-bye.